It's about us right now, girl. Where are you going? Nieces, nephews, you know what time it is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Auntie Red, your local internet auntie, back again with some more goodies. So, okay, so we're gonna get right right into it. But just want to say, you know, don't forget to like subscribe, click the button, follow me on Instagram, you know, all that jazz. Whatever. Let's get let's get to what we came here for. So, um, as you guys know. I have a shopping habit, right? So I was watching, I think her name is um, Kathy Thorpe and she said it the best when she was like, we're luxury addicts, we're never going to rehab. This is a problem, but you know, the first step is recognizing that you have a problem. And obviously, it's quite obvious I have a problem. So anyway, but, so I'm, I'm a little bit turned up guys. So I just got off of a Zoom birthday uh, thing. So pardon me. Auntie Ren's had a couple of cocktails. But anyway, so, but what we're here for today, I have an unboxing for you guys. And it is from Fashion File. Guys, so if you watch one of my previous videos, and if you have it, please feel free to. I'm gonna try the little iCard thing. I don't know which side of the screen it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on one of the one of those corners. But I'm gonna try to put the video in the iCard. So, but if you've seen my pre-loved video where I unbox some of the pre-loved bits that I got during quarantine, um, this is you know one of the places. Fashion File is one of the places that I uh, referenced in that. Um, in that video that I absolutely love. I shop quite often. Uh, this item was on my summer wish list. It was something that I definitely wanted after seeing one of my favorite YouTubers, Hilo Lux. Hi! If you ever happen upon this video, uh, I absolutely love and adore you. I think everything you do is amazing. You rock. Anyway, but um, so I saw her unbox this probably like last year, like last summer, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Kind of was like on the fence which one i should get because they come in a couple of colors and things like that finally pulled the trigger this summer obviously it's later in the summer but it's all right because i'm completely in love with this piece it makes my heart sing so and it's from fashion file <laughs> so you guys get to see how that kind of comes so when you get an item from fashion file what it looks like how it comes with the packaging how they package it and the whole shebang all right so i'm so excited okay guys so the box has gone through some things i don't know if it was we've been getting a bit of rain here um in the northeast so i don't know if it's because of the weather or if you know my postman is just through with me and my packages but this package has been yeah so um but we'll get right into it so it comes oh, try not to show you my address right but it comes Oh my god, the box is ridiculous. But it comes like that. So when you get a box from Fashion File, it's all I hope you guys can see this. I hope it's in frame and everything, but the box is a little bit stiff. But it comes like that. They do such an excellent job, guys, of putting things together when you get stuff from Fashion File. Um so what it comes with is oops, <laughs> there's there's confetti uh in the box, like these big round bits of confetti. I'll show you like that um, and then it comes with a little uh, card and in the card is like the thank you for shopping um, the envelope not the card inside the envelope is like thank you for shopping your invoice what your item is um, we'll buy this back so fashion file is one of those sites that if you don't like it what you got you could always send it back to them they'll repurchase it from you they've got a great, great return policy you know it's really um, they're just like really top notch when it comes to pre-loved bits. So, and if you haven't guessed yet, this item is pre-loved. So it says, used is the new new. <laughs> yeah, and it says fashion file. I hope you guys can see this. I'm taking off the sticker. All I did before this guys is just cut the um, the tape, the wrapping tape that, like the packaging tape, um, that's it. I haven't actually even seen this bag yet. So this would be a true unboxing. You and, about, you and I are going to see it the same time at the same time all right guys so ooh, i don't remember if when i ordered it it came with a with a dust bag or not but fashion file is kind enough to put it in its own dust bag i don't think they're going to go here it's just stuffing the box is really neat like it's really a nice box they do a, they usually do a really good job of stuffing it um stuffing the box with guys <laughs> 
Ooh. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? I don't know. I probably put it in the title, so I probably killed it anyway. But you know, you know, whatever. But okay. So I'm gonna open the dust bag. You know, I get really excited about these things, guys. Oh. All right. So the dust bag is pretty diesel. Like they're giving us like, a massive dust bag. Like this is not shabby. It's like canvas. You know really thick cut any kind of material um oh, okay wait i'm just looking at i'm checking it out i'm checking it out because i don't want to be embarrassed man if it doesn't look the way it's supposed to look i'm gonna be mad <laughs> it's so mad oh, it's so good. okay 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 all right okay i turn it around i turn it around all right ready mm -hmm. oh my goodness <gasps> Can you see it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm killing it. Wait. Oh, da -da -da. Guys, can you see it? Oh, can you see it? Okay, guys, this is the Rive Gauche. Rive Gauche. Rive Gauche. Uh, oh my God, this is so yummy. It's like one of those like very popular um, book tote types, like very reminiscent of the size of the on the go, Louis Vuitton on the go, um, the Christian Dior book tote, very much on that uh, size of things. It is all canvas with leather handles. It does have these uh, snaps at the top here to get it closed. It did come stuffed, which I absolutely love when they stuff my bag so it didn't come folded so it's not as creased. Oh, guys, it did come with the dust bag. Okay, okay. So there's the dust bag inside. And it says, I guess this is the, um, this must be the item card, like the actual card that comes on the item when you get it. So if you guys are interested in getting this, they sell these um, not just on the Saint Laurent site, but you can also get this uh, at like Neiman Marcus. You can get it at Saks. You can get it at, um, you know, department stores sometimes you can get it on discount as well so you don't always have to end up paying full price for this but this dust bag is nice like it's, it's lined there's a lining inside the dust bag so it did come with this inside um now fashion file just talk about fashion file for a little bit they do put like these little tags on here and it says um remove the tag and own the bag so it, once you remove it this is yours once this tag has been removed this item is yours um so and it, it just gives you like the breakdown of the item what it's called it says saint laurent linen half skin reeve gauche i looked it up guys how i hope i'm saying it properly so anybody who's out there that speaks french um i hope i'm doing it justice but i believe reeve gauche is uh left bank if i'm not mistaken but feel free to correct me because I'm not French um, <laughs> but it looks really good it looks in great condition I'm checking like you know the corners and so on this is reminding me I know it says linen but it's reminding me of like yeah like a burlap kind of um, like like a linen but like a raw linen you know if that makes sense um, but it seems very sturdy I I'm loving it guys I'm sorry I'm checking it out the same time as you so I'm looking for any inconsistencies or any stains or anything like that I most likely will get um, a, an insert uh, for it because I've heard the stories that you know your stuff is kind of just flopping around in it and it it just stands up better over over time it's it has no shape so it would be better if it had something inside of it to kind of keep the shape of the base and have it stand up straight um it does have a pocket inside which is good i didn't think it would um oh, and there seems to be something inside of it please hold oh okay see there's something here so it must be uh i don't i don't know what that is guys some some sorry. it does come with a little pocket here and the pocket is a zipper pocket which is good so if you have some things that you need to get like to immediately like you want to be able to get to your phone quick you want to be able to get to your wallet quick you can put that you know in that pocket um i do like the snap idea as well i have a lot of totes that don't really you know have that much security and it's good that these securely close so that's really great i can see this transitioning into fall i would do fall with this i mean i mean obviously it would be fantastic as like a beach bag or if you're going on holiday someplace 
warm, I can definitely see this being, you know, the go-to. But I can also see this going into fall activities with my family when we're going apple picking, you know, and we're putting it on. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Oh, it does fit, okay. I was saying like, you know, cause you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger girl. So I didn't know if it would fit over, you know, my, uh, my big guns here but it does fit i don't know how comfortable that would be to to wear all day i don't i don't know i would have to get back to you guys and give you some wear and tear information on that but it did fit over my arms and my arms are quite big so that's good um i will pop in some mod shots i'll you know take some some shots over there with it you know wearing it whatever maybe i'll stuff it back with the with the air paper that it came with and you know kind of give you a little a little look so what it looks like on me again for reference i am five seven and a half i am about 245 pounds and i weigh about a 16 size 16 18 us so just to give you an idea of my you know my measurements and my height and so on so you can have an idea of how big it is i'll pop in the you know all the stats on the bag down in the description because i don't remember like what the drop is here maybe if i get measurements and so on i'll, I'll pop them in i don't mind doing that um i got this piece i want to say uh, uh i don't want to lie i think all in it was with tax and everything it was probably a thousand dollars um and i think it retails for like 11.50 again i'll pop it in the screen somewhere as long as you know the gods are with me and I can find all of the information um, online. I'll pop in all of the details for you as far as like what it's currently priced at and kind of what I got it for. But I know I did not pay full price for it, um, which I had no intention of paying full, full price for this. I think with me too, guys, I do, I, I, I am very mindful when I'm buying some of my luxury pieces. And there are some pieces that I don't mind paying full price for. I don't care if I want it, I want it and I'm going to pay whatever to get it. And then there's some pieces like, that's cute, but I don't want to pay full price for it. <laughs> so in those cases, I do look for discount or I'll stalk fashion file until I find it or I'll go into one of my Facebook groups and put out a in search of post with those ladies and, uh, and tell them that I'm looking for the, you know, that certain item or whatever. But guys, this is my new acquisition, the Reeve Gosh. <laughs> now I'm getting carried away. But <laughs> the Reeve Gosh from Saint Laurent. I hope it's in frame and you guys can see it okay. Um, and I'm really excited. This is my first Saint Laurent piece. I'm dabbling in some other brands. I'm looking at Fendi. I'm looking at YSL. I'm looking at oh, Chanel. I need to make a video and let you guys know why I sigh when I think of Chanel. We have to talk about it. Maybe you guys can bring me home and talk me talk me off the ledge with with Chanel because I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know we'll see but um but I'm dabbling in some other brands Dior I'm obsessed with Dior this was kind of like a baby step to the book tote wanted to know I, I I've, I've seen the book tote I've tried it on touched it I wasn't a fan of the material it feels like really like carpet it was terrible but I don't know it could just be me I don't know um so yeah but i love the other things like i love the um the little saddle bags i love that love the trainers love um you know so there's so many bits that i love with them so i'm dabbling in some other brands i'm giving you a little bit of my you know exploration into some of the other fashion houses i'm still a louis girl at heart but you know we gotta dabble um but yeah this is it guys i love this this is so so cute i can't wait to style it up for you and uh yeah that's it thank you so much guys for any support that you've given the likes the subscribing i mean subscribing is free do it it's free like we don't have to shop for a discount for that right so subscribe you know hit me up on instagram i try to post there every day i just started trying to do instagram stories so you can feel free to come over there and um take get a laugh with me trying to do instagram stories there and uh and check out what i'm wearing and what i'm buying and what i'm loving i would love to once the city opens up a little bit more or i get a little bit more comfortable going out you know take you out with me on my adventures through the city that should be really exciting but yeah thank you so much for all your support don't forget to like comment subscribe come back watch some more videos and yeah this was a quick one thank you so much guys i'll talk to you soon nieces nephews you know i love you bye <laughs>